Hi! Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another blessed, thankful Thursday, February 10th, 2022, and episode 626, part number one, your days of praise passage for today. We're going to be talking about Abel's timely testimony. I can't enable. We're going to be talking about Abel in this one. Surprised this ain't a uh, Genesis passage, but. <laughs> what the? What was that? I don't know if y'all heard that, but that was weird. Somebody went by and making the weird noises. <laughs> Oh well. But we're starting with Hebrews chapter 11 verse 4. The famous Hebrews, the faith chapter of Hebrews chapter 11. And, okay. So if you're excited about another Thursday, smash that like button. Comment something you, as a Christian, that you remember about the story of Cain and Abel. What well, what was the key the, the key spot in that in the story that you remember that you can you could like say exactly what it what what it was talking about what was the key point let me know in the comments but subscribe if you do turn on notifications share that video and channel with your family and friends and help me reach that 100 subscriber mark by my birthday. Which is April the 18th, which is about another two months. About, about two months from now. <laughs> have to forgive me. I'm just a, I'm just a little cold right now. It's just a little cooler on the sports that I wanted, but hey, got my ja my jackets keeping my arms cold, warm. <laughs> I just put my hands in the thing, so I can basically I've got my book laying right here next to me so I can look down and see the book so I don't have to so if, it, if it's like I'm looking like uh, I'm looking downward I'm looking at the book I'm not even holding the book because I've got my hands I got my hands in my jacket pocket so at least my fingers will stay a little warm but Abel's timely testimony Hebrews 11 4 says by faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain um, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous God testifying of his gifts and by it he being dead yet speaketh so we have Abel who was Adam's second son which we got Cain and Abel the two two boys was a faithful God honoring man but he was murdered by his older brother Cain so from Genesis 4 we know that Cain's bloodless sacrifice was not accepted by God while Abel's animal sacrifice was accepted so Cain's pride anger and rejection of God's offer of restoration resulted in the murder of obedient Abel. So our beginning passage tells us that Abel being dead yet speaketh what does he say? To whom does he speak? So first of all he spoke to God. So the voice of thy brother's Abel's blood Crieth unto me from the ground. Genesis 4 verse 10. So many have followed Abel in martyrdom. And they all cry. Revelation 6.10 How long, O Lord, holy and true, doest thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? So secondly we have, He spoke to Cain. Genesis 4.11 And now art thou cursed from the earth which have opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. So Cain was banished by God. Verse 12 
a fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. And every spot of ground on which he placed his foot from then on would be crying out to him, indicting him of his sin. And finally, thirdly, Abel speaks to us. How? Let's find out. His witness reminds us that men must come to God in obedient faith. For Abel obeyed God's instruction regarding sacrifice. And I guess that would be still in Genesis. Genesis 4 verses 3 and 4. It don't have the, the, the book on it. So it probably still Genesis because it says you have Genesis 4.11 and you got verse 12. So it would be 4 verses 3 and 4. So he offered sacrifice in that in faith that God would deem him righteous. As it says in, in, in our beginning passage. And the acceptance of the blood sacrifice and the rewards of his brother's disobedience speak eloquently of the wages of sin. Romans 6.23 The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. <laughs> I've heard, I heard that one so much growing up. Great memory verse. And Romans 3.23 those two, Romans 3.23 and 6.23, I have heard many, many times growing up. And that's why I rememberize them. But Romans 3.23 is, For all have sinned and, and fallen short of the glory of God. So a lot, a lot of Bible passages, we would we talk about Romans 3.23, and then we go, and then in Romans 6.23, we would like, that's the, the, the size of the paper. All right, Romans 3.23. Then you turn over and talk about 6.23. So, <laughs> but. so may God give us ears to hear Abel's timely testimony. Hmm. Okay. A little more about the Cain and Abel story that you probably didn't already know, so... Coming up tomorrow in part 2 of 627, we're going to be talking about the fear of the Lord. Oh, another, another duh series. So right now I don't know what the, what the, what, remember what the last one was, but. So we have this one. Sorry about that. But we're going to be talking about the next duh video, which is the fear of the Lord, beginning with Job 28. 28. <laughs> I like it when numbers, just same numbers, coexisting numbers, sequential numbers, consecutive numbers. Uh, it, 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 it just, it just, it just makes me. I, I, thr I get thrilled about it when I see numbers like that. Especially with the Bible. And also, when you get a, a Bible verse where it says 20 verse, either 10, verse 10 through whatever the current year date is. Like it's 22. So it's verse 10 to 22. Anytime you get a verse of chapter 20, verse anywhere from 10 to 22 it's like you're saying the year 20 so like say you got a, a verse 18 you say chapter you'll say whatever the book is and say 2018 and it's not like you're saying 2018 the year <laughs> and I like those numbers too those are pretty neat and then when we get next year in 23 we get the 23 when you come up with a chapter 20 verse 23 it's like you're saying 2023 just like this year you're saying 22 so 2022 
And last year you were saying 2021. See what see see how I'm seeing that? I don't know how I don't know how you would do it with the verses one through nine. Because he would say just just the one number. Or you could put the O if you're putting it down, you could put the O one, O two, O three, such and such. Just to make it sound a little easier. But but stay tuned to that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes. But you'll see that tomorrow. Coming up at 1 o'clock. In your part 2. For your Thursday, February 10th. Your, your Daily Bread. Episode 626, part 2. We're going to be talking about His Amazing Help. And it's for Patricia Rayburn once again. Um, and it's derived from Psalm 147, 8 through 17. I'm just, I'm not, I keep getting off my the track of thought, train of thoughts up. But stay tuned to that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see that after one today. That's for your afternoon Devo. So with that said, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trust in God and he'll keep you safe and all you say to do in 2022. And before I say I have not have no update on the the job job thing yet. So when I do get when I do find out, I'll let you know. So but with that said, peace out. Until later everybody. Goodbye. God bless. Have a wonderful rest of your Thursday morning. Come back again after one for his amazing help. Should be a should be a good one. So, but with that said, goodbye.